Yo, yo, yo! What's happening? Yo, I don't know. Damn, let's get my mic in the right position. Um, <laughs> hey everyone. Happy Big Friday. Happy Big Friday. How are we doing? How are we doing? Um, I gotta admit, I'm feeling loads better today. Uh, loads, loads, loads better. Bright eyed and bushy tailed, you might say. Um, I, just in case, uh, just to catch up, just an FYI, I've been having like major sleep problems um, for like, I don't know, a week or so? They've been really messing me up. Um, we missed Fallout last week, which I can't apologize enough for. But um, I think um, what I want to do today, I think it being in the oven a bit longer is going to do uh, do wonders, basically. Um, I do have a lot to cover before we get straight into Lonesome Road. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's going to be super fun today. It's going to be super fun because we're going to be tackling another DLC, uh, another DLC. And uh, it's uh, the DLC that canonically came out last. It's not the last DLC that we have to cover on New, Year, uh, New Vegas, uh, but it, it is canonically the last one. It's the one that was like, you know, uh, basically kind of like the final boss of this game, but in DLC form. It was like, bring all your best gear, bring all your best stuff. Come on, come on, take on the divide. Uh, I dare you. You know, and um, there's some underlying tones and things about this whole DLC that we'll, we'll cover as we go along. Um, some themes, some ongoing themes that are woven into uh, the the story and, and the character that we're going to ultimately confront. Um, who we've heard about a lot. We've heard about a lot. He's like the um, he, he's like the last loose end of um, what we what we discovered when we were in Big Mountain um, because we we've dealt with Elijah now. We locked him in an underground vault. Um, we've, uh, but with the help of Christine as well, who was another prominent uh, character that we heard about in uh, Big Mountain, and also from Veronica, because they have a history together. Uh, Veronica is a, com uh, a companion from the, the main game. Um, but the final piece of the puzzle was uh, the other courier, um, the other courier, uh, Ulysses. Um, and he, uh, in a recording that we found, stated to Christine that he and I would have an end to things. And that's what we're going to cover uh, today. But there's a f few things I need to go over first of all. A few things I need to go over first of all. But um, once again, happy Big Friday. I uh, hope you've all had a great week. And uh, we're at the finish line. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. Right, okay. Now, um, I'm going to load up uh, this save first of all uh, let me just tab over um, just to show you something um, I experimented because um, I always end up getting the same duster at the end of this DLC and uh, it's because of my reputation my faction reputation now don't judge me okay um, this is uh, uh, yeah this is Dr. Richards and, and, and Major Pilati uh, I'm sure there's an exercise joke in there somewhere and uh, Lieutenant Hayes, uh, Quartermaster Mays, uh, all all burning on that drum there. Oh, there's another guy here who was this. Oh, Major Pilati's body uh, over there. Um, I went around and murdered. I completely wiped out uh, Fallen Hope and I completely wiped out, uh, where is it? Uh, Camp McCarran. Now, um, if you can see there in brackets, I don't know how well you can see it. It says neutral. I should see the same on yeah any NCR uh, base or, or you know uh, location it says neutral there that's because um, I was trying to get vilified because uh, the hmm interesting very interesting let me go and test something out a second why is all my reputation faction where's all my factions gone it was there earlier. That's very strange. Okay, um, let me just test them now. Cause I could get, I could only get as low as Wild Child when I was experimenting earlier. Cause I wanted to get vilified. Cause um, the duster that you get at the end of this DLC depends on your faction reputation. Uh, where are we going? 
Let's let's just go. Let's just quickly go to um, another NCR place. Uh, Ranger Station Alpha. If they, sh it does say neutral, so they shouldn't shoot on. S no, they're still friendly. They're still friendly. Okay. Hey. Hello. Can I get my reputation down any lower? Whoa, she took that. Check your fire. Okay, don't... Hold on, hold on. Just die a second. Right, infamy gained. Okay. Game, are you, uh, are you okay here? Shunned. That's different. Ooh, this might, this might just work, you know. I wasn't expecting this, by the way. Uh, earlier on, I could only get as far as uh, Wild Child, like I was saying. Right, I don't have a whole lot of ammo left, so hopefully I've got enough to... I say that as I miss. I've hopefully got a... Oh, you, you are... You are tough. You are a tough veteran ranger, no wonder. Okay, please, please don't kill me just yet. Right, goodbye to you. Uh, I need to heal, I need to heal. Calm down. Right. I, I had like over 400 uh, stim pack earlier. That's how how many I've gone through doing all this. Right, I've got three shots left. If this works, then this changes everything. This changes my entire plans. There we go. All right, cool. What's our uh, <gasps> vilified? It worked. Oh, that's, that really has changed everything. That really has changed everything. Because I was going to say... I was going to say... Um, I'll take your stuff. Uh, I'll take your ammo. I can still take dog tags, oddly. Oh? I've never seen that gun before. I'll take it. Right. Um, yeah, I was going to say... I think the lowest... Um, the lowest... That I can get... Uh, reputation wise with the NCR was um, was wild child which is not even shoot on sight uh, I did go around like I said I wiped out uh, I wiped out Camp McCarran and uh, Fall on Hope and uh, the lowest I could get was wild child which is what I suspected anyway because um, if you if I take you back in time to uh, where we did the Hoover Dam um, that is technically the same character, um, but that was after I'd done Lonesome Road. Uh, and then we went back to uh, a save before I'd done Lo Lonesome Road. Um, and, uh, ooh, another lock. Um, after doing Lonesome Road, uh, nuking the NCR, or the Long 15, uh, and creating that new, uh, that new area, uh, just got me down to Wild Child. Uh, that's the lowest I could get to. So I was like, oh, I bet you, um, through the main quest, uh, I'm too actu I'm actually too uh, well-liked by the NCR to get all the way down to Vilified. And, uh, oh, I just leveled as well. Awesome. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not an even number, though, so uh, uh, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go into survival, I think. Um, or do I want an armed? Or do I want barter? Barter might actually be immediately helpful. Because um, I'm down to one gold bar. Uh, which I'll explain in a second. No, I don't want to put barter up. I want to put up... Oh, God. There's not much left to do, really, is there? Maybe survival. Survival skill increases the hit points you receive from food and drink. It also helps you create consumable items at campfires. Um, let's go with unarmed. Unarmed could be quite fun. There we go. All right. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So, um, empty. No way. Um, yeah. So, um, I I didn't expect to be able to get the vilified. Basically, I just kept this save to show you the experiment. I spent a bunch of money on this anti-material rifle as well to do this. Um, unfortunately, um, I only have, uh, I only have, uh, where is it? G. I only have one gold bar left. 
uh, but we do have 13,000 caps as well. I don't know what we're going to be able to do with that, because um, I had a plan uh, for all the gold bars which we picked up. I think we had four in total, uh, which reminds me as well, um, since, um, since beating uh, Dead Money, I actually uh, realized a way in which we could get out of there with all of the gold bars. Um, which I'll explain. Basically, um, you've got uh, you've got an ability in this game to like kind of like uh, hold physics objects. Like if I uh, demonstrate by I'll drop on the floor. Uh, where are we? Carton of cigarettes will do. Um, let's see, carton of cigarettes. Right. If I drop this on the floor, now there's a way. Shit. My bad. Uh, let me do that again. There's a way of picking it up this way. You just got to hold like uh, the left stick in and you can kind of like telepathically carry stuff. So, <coughs> pardon me. Um, so I could have uh, also, if I drop uh, an item, say, uh, what have I got a lot of? If I drop these atomic cocktails on the floor and I drop them all together, they become one item. And uh, they, they don't affect your carry capacity when you carry them like this as well. So I could have dropped all the gold bars in one item on the floor and carried them out that way. But I figured that out afterwards, which is, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Right, I'm going to convert some of this stuff into, uh, into money now. Uh, that's why I've, I've fast traveled here. We are going to go there on this save though. Um, just to let you know, just a few of the other things that I did in between uh, parts. Um, I picked up all of my ammo that I had stashed. Because we're not doing Lonesome Road on Hardcore. No way am I doing it on Hardcore. Um, it doesn't really add any benefits or, or any anything fun or, or anything of that nature. Um, I'm going to... Uh, hmm. I'm going to wear that. Um... Actually, no, take that off. That's not boons, by the way. I picked that up by killing people in um, McCarran, Camp McCarran, uh, just so you're aware. Uh, unequip that as well, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell some things back here now and try and make uh, a bit more money. Show me what you've got. Um, right, so uh, miscellaneous first. We'll get rid of them. Uh Gold bar. I'll oh, gold power a bar. I keep on me for the time being. Uh, get rid of these. Cause uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough money for what I plan now. Being as I spent a lot of money on that. Uh, hmm. I tell you what. Cancel that. Cancel that. We can do it somewhere else. We don't need to. Uh, we don't need to uh, uh, make some money here. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to do, uh, we're going to follow tradition, okay, and we're going to, because even though I said this, uh, this DLC kind of like dares you to bring all your best guns and, and things, um, we're going to, um, we're going to keep up tradition and only acquire stuff, uh, in the DLC as we pick them up. Goop, what's up? Uh, sorry, I didn't, I only just know this. Hi Mecca, guess who was my number one top favorite streamer for my Twitch recap this year? Uh, that is, um, oh dear, who could it be? Who could that be? Hmm. Blimey, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, who could that be? Who could that be? <laughs> uh, I've, actually, I need to share mine. I've, uh, I picked mine up and, uh, I downloaded it to share. Uh, I was saying the other day as well, I got my, um, because I use Spotify, Twas you! Oh, no way! No way! Thanks, uh, thanks, Coop. I really appreciate that. But, uh, <laughs> I, I need to share mine. I need to share my wrap up. Uh, <laughs> about toothpicks, even. Shh, don't tell him. Okay, my lips are sealed. My lips are sealed. But my guess was gonna be toothpicks, but I guess that'd be too obvious, right? Thanks, Coop! That's really, uh, that's really cool. Thank you very much. Um, I, I had my Spotify wrapped recently as well, wrapped for 2022. And uh, it was like, it was like, oh, and there was one song this year that was Love of First Listen. And it was the top, uh, it was my top song of the year. And it was Overkill. 
<laughs> which I found funny, which I found funny. How are you doing, Goop? Anyway, thanks for coming along. Thanks for coming along. Happy Big Friday to you. Let's give you a shout out. Let's give you a shout out, Goop. Oh, cool. Oh, it doesn't quite look <laughs> line so up with the pit boy, year. unfortunately. <laughs> oh, he went far that time. Oh, there's another one. Okay. They have like these big eyes that are very creepy. They got big butts as well. Now. <laughs> they got big old butts. But uh, yeah, that's cool. Thanks, Scoop. Thank you very much. And happy Big Friday again. <clears throat> um, where was I? I forgot. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, we're going to keep up with tradition on how we've been handling these uh, DLCs. And I'm just going in with my, my regular old uh, reinforced combat armor. And uh, it would be silly to travel around without a gun in the uh, Mojave. So we just got a basic pistol. I bought that, um, like as I mentioned, I spent a lot of money on this gun. Uh, just to um, just to uh, go around murdering the NCR. Uh, let me just check my... Uh, oh, now it's all back. That was weird, right? And I'm, I'm still only a wild child? I thought it said vilified. I, I'd swear it said vilified, right? Why is... Game, are you feeling okay? Are you feeling alright, game? Right, okay. Let me just let me just test this out again now. Two seconds. Why is this game acting so weird all of a sudden? Um Right. Okay, I know where to go. We'll go to Camp Golf. If they don't attack me on site, then this isn't this isn't worked. They are they're attacking me on site. Okay, alright, okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, oh god, they're everywhere. I don't have a good gun either. I'm gonna have to try and make do with this gun. I've got all the ammo in the world though. Oh, you you guys! Well, one of you, one of you die for me, please. Just so I can see where we're at reputation-wise. They are shooting on sight, so maybe they are... It does count as vilified, even though it's saying... It's still saying wild child. This is very strange. Very strange indeed. Uh, you there. Please, please just die. Just so I can see where we're at. Are we friends? Are we, are we friends? They are shooting on sight. Shoot on sight is vilified. Wild child, normally you're still okay. Oh shit, there's a lot of you. Oh, it's Raz from the out... Oh, these are all the misfits. I can see, uh... Who are you? Mags. There's two of the misfits right here. Right. Please go down, Raz. Be a good boy. Oh, reload. Bad reload. Bad reload. Bad reload. I might be dead. I might be dead. Right, I'm gaining infamy still. I'm still get I'm still a wild child. Okay, well, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. It might work. I'm intrigued now. Um, I'm intrigued to see what the game is actually counting, whether or not it's vilified or just wild child. Right, let's check again. I'm still a wild child. If I go, if I hover over uh, Camp Golf again, it does say wild child. Okay, okay. Uh, right, wait, Ranger Station Alpha, we already... Uh, Right, okay, let's go to Camp Golf, see if they see if they shoot on sight again. If they do. Yep, they do. They do, okay. Alright, this might work. We're gonna uh, we're gonna take this save into Lonesome Road anyway. Okay, because like I said, I'm intrigued now. I'm intrigued as to uh what is uh gonna happen at the end and what kind of uh what kind of dust I'm gonna get at the end. Um, good, thank you. Glad to be working at home today and my work day is almost done. Nice. How has your week been? Um, it's not been amazing. Um, I was pretty much in bed for uh, the beginning of it because um, I've been having real, real big um, sleep issues of late. I feel great now. I feel much, much better now. But um, I was like... I was like sleeping for two to four hours, like twice a day, randomly though, uh, and it was beyond my control, really, and uh, it was really, really messing me up. Um, I 
missed a lot of streams recently because of it as well. I missed uh, Friday last week and I missed Monday this week. And in all honesty as well, um, if I'm honest, I shouldn't have really streamed. In my opinion, anyway, I shouldn't have. Oh shit, I forget there's NCR here. I forget there's NCR here. I completely forgot. It's fine though. Don't worry about him. We'll just uh, live and let live on this occasion. Um, but uh, wait about time. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, my my opinion. Um, I should have missed Saturday as well because uh, I wasn't. Uh, I was I was a mess Saturday. <laughs> uh, it was probably really noticeable as well, but um, I was not really with it at all. Um, but today I feel great, and yesterday I felt much but much better as well. I feel um, bright eyed and bushy tailed now. Um, I've been doing my best to sleep at a um, reasonable time. And uh, it seems to be working. It seems to be working. But uh, I randomly, randomly was just uh, had had like exhaustion for like uh, a few days. But uh, I'm good. I'm good. Other than that, thanks for asking. Uh, I'm sorry. Glad you're feeling better now. That's all right. Uh, I mean, I I had a few ideas of what it might have been. Oh, now up here there's a bunch of coyotes. Uh, but don't worry about them. We'll avoid them. Uh, pretty easily. There's quite a lot of them, but I uh, will avoid them quite easily. Uh, yeah, I had a few ideas. I was like, oh, I, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. I was thinking, uh, oh, I want to check that duffel bag real quick. Bad dog. What happened? What the hell happened there? Did you see that? Uh, ooh. Ooh, hell yeah. Uh, that weighs one, so I'm going to leave that there. That's empty. Okay, never mind. Right, bad dog. Bad dog. Um, I, I was like, maybe it's iron deficiency, because like, that could be a case uh, of my diet and, uh, you know, me being a vegetarian and stuff. But and I was like, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. I was going to go and uh, arrange to see my GP, but I still might do that, in fact. I still might do that. But uh, I'm okay now. I'm, I'm okay. I just needed to uh, just needed to rest up, I guess. I'm a little bit behind on everything now, though, because um, i got a lot to do IRL, obviously, with uh, Christmas and and me moving coming up so i'm a little bit behind i'm a little behind lol um but uh it'll be okay it'll work out it'll work out okay so lonesome road uh the coordinates you received lead you to this ca uh, canyon filled with storm tossed wreckage uh beyond lies the divide lonesome road is intended for experienced couriers level 25 or higher check uh, you cannot take companions with you on the road ahead nor bring any you find out with you you can carry whatever equipment and gear you have with you without restriction, however. If the journey proves too difficult, now this is important, this, this little paragraph here is very important. Uh, if the journey proves too difficult or you need to resupply, you can retrace your steps and return to the Mojave at any time. If you are prepared, then continue on into the storms of the divide. History awaits. Uh, we're going to walk the lonesome road. There go. There's no little intro to this one either. Not like the others that we've been in. Uh, we don't get a little uh, monologue or, or anything with some uh, visuals. And uh, here we are. Here we are. Right, if I could quickly take a look at that, uh, the view uh, over this cliff. You can see it's not... It doesn't really look... Uh, it looks kind of like all destroyed and, and messed up. Uh, I'm going to sell this... Uh, shortly but if i get my anti-material rifle on we can scope yeah pretty derelict pretty destroyed pretty barren uh this is all all this cliffside here has got like pylons turned over and stuff so uh yeah wonder what uh wonder what can be ahead of us here in the divide right and uh here we are as well a flag that we're quite familiar with it's the uh the flag uh, that Ulysses uh, was using all throughout Big Mountain as well. To warn us of uh, good places to loot and, and dangerous places. Obviously it was red for danger and blue for uh, other things. Now uh, again, you can go home, courier. It's kind of like an underlying theme throughout this uh, DLC. Uh, it's uh, important to note that we can leave any time that we want to. We're not locked in like uh, other uh, DLCs. Like with Dead Money and with um, uh, All World Blues, um, you had to uh, you had to finish up your business while you were there before you could leave. 
Not here. Not here. We can leave at any time. And the DLC is happy to tell us as well. Happy to tell us this. Okay. So, uh, let's, uh, let's grab you. Programmer's Digest. Nope. Game. Yeah. Programmer's Digest is what I want. Um, let's see now. Right. Okay. Ah. That's what I was looking for. Um, I might take... I might take some stuff to build weapon repair kits uh, because, uh, well, I'll, I'll get to that in, in just a second. We will be able to build weapon repair kits quite easily in this uh, DLC, and I'll uh, explain why in just a second. Right, um, unlock maintenance access door. There we are. And that's, that opens this door. That one over there remains locked, though. Uh, so we'll go through here. I believe it do, anyway. Yeah, requires key. Okay. And, uh, right, okay. Through here. Right, um, to keep things fair as well, I know I've got this anti-material rifle, but I'm going to sell it momentarily. I'm going to sell it because it's, uh, uh, we're going to pick up uh, everything on site in this DLC. We're going to use only things that the DLC provides us with. Uh, I will take... Ooh, two stealth boys. Nice. Last time, uh, when I was testing things out earlier, I only got one in there. So that's nice. We got two this time. Bonus. Oh, nothing in the box. Right, let me grab... Uh, yes, 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 and yes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, was there anything else worthwhile in here? Ooh, electron charge pack. That's worthwhile. Um, oh, I didn't finish explaining what uh, I did prior to um, starting today as well. I actually um, I actually went back to Big Mountain with a transportal pond there. And um, I picked up all the ammo that I had there. Um, I picked up all the ammo that I had from the Lucky 38 Casino. And then um, I bought this, uh, this anti-material rifle that I have in my hands. And I bought a buttload of ammo for it. Um, in the gun runners, uh, I just clicked on this poster here, this Ralphie poster. There's 20 of them all the way through this DLC. Um, I don't know what the reward is uh, that you get, but I'm not going to bother with them because um, I don't think it's that good, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think it's uh, really necessary to do. Um, so when I w we'll we'll click on them if we see them, but I'm not going to go out my way to collect them. I'm not going to go out my way to detonate the warheads either. Uh, because that's just for an achievement as well. It doesn't really um, uh, give you anything particularly good, it, to my uh, memory, anyway. Um, but there are a few things that I do want to uh, do in this uh, DLC. And I have done my homework this time, if you can see. I've taken notes. Uh, we've got a little bit there on that side as well. And then those pages too. So I've done, I've done my homework this time. Not like with dead money. We missed quite a bit in dead money. Nothing majorly important, but it would have made uh, life a lot easier. Um, and uh, also, we missed some chips as well because we missed the uh, the snow globe. But uh, let's unlock this prototype bot pod. There we are. And this will wake up uh, and very own. Uh, this Eddie can only be used in Lonesome Road. Uh, but it's a very new, uh, a new Eddie uh, of our own to take through the DLC with us. Uh, what was that sound you played? Some sign, sort of memory glitch. Uh, no, it wasn't your boot up sequence. It was a recording, something about someone called Ralphie. Evasive beeping. Okay, with a simple science check, probably just some old data floating around in your memory. Nothing to worry about. And he's happy about that. Cool. Uh, I think I could use your help getting out of here. Can you come with me? Cool. And we get the enhanced senses perk, just like our Eddie back in the Mojave does as well. Experiment log 369248-B. I bought DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. We've boosted signal gain and enlarged the overflow buffer system. That should ensure 100% connectivity and control. Eddie, whenever you're ready. Yes, success. <clears throat> um, reporting full success.
us on 369248-B. Eddie was able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Great job, team. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. Uh, <coughs> I just realized as well, I should have said this earlier, I hope everything sound, it should do, it should sound and look okay. Um, if there's any issues though, just let me know in the chat and I'll sort them out. Um, that's a recording from your development. Are you saying you can override electronic security? Expository beeping. Uh, only panels with a dish-shaped receiver. The console in the main room had one of those, I think. He's happy about that as well. Was that voice of your creator? What happened to him? Um, <laughs> yeah, he's probably dead. No, we'll not say that. Uh, maybe you'll see him again someday. Happy beeping. Uh, well, I'm sure he's fine wherever he is. Uh, I don't really want to... Alright, let's keep moving. Cool. Now, uh, what this little guy can do for me... Uh, he can open up... Uh, okay. Eddie, you gonna... Ah, uh, here he comes. Right. Open that up for me, please. That's uh, something I need immediately. Cool. All right, this is uh, this is a shop, and it also does repair uh, work as well, but it costs a fortune, so we're not going to do any repairs uh, yet. What I am going to do, though, um, we're going to make as much money as we can immediately, uh, because there's a couple of things that I do want to buy here. Um, right, if I sell gold bar. The one and only gold bar that we got left. I spent all the others on uh, on that anti-material rifle. Um, Pre-war monies, they can go. Uh, do I have any Legion money? Do I have any of that at all? Uh, does that weigh? That do weigh? Maybe I'll get rid of that. Just because... Oh, what? Look at the value on that. Oh, hell yeah. Jar of cloud residue. That's uh, for making poisons for like your melee and throwables, I think. Oh, that was quite a lot of money. That's 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 good stuff. Um, I don't think I have any legion money on me, but that's okay. We've got tons and tons of money. Uh, one thing I want to uh, say before we buy anything though, these red glare mods here. Red glare is kind of like the signature weapon. Of this DLC. If you pick up all three. I can't afford even one at this point. Oh I can afford one. I can't afford them all. Nowhere near. Uh, but if you manage to come here with a lot of money. Um, and you pick up all three of these mods. And uh, I don't know if you have to attach them to the weapon. Because at this point you don't even have the weapon. Uh, we'll pi be picking that up uh, shortly. But um, if you uh, pick up all three of these mods here. That gives you an achievement. Uh, right. Oh. We got a little bit unlucky with the uh, weapons, um, the weapons that he's that uh, this thing's selling to us. Earlier on, I had um, I had a few things here. I had um, I think flashbangs and some plasma mines. That's really unlucky. I think these always uh, always actually uh, spawn them. Um, we're going to be picking up the riot gear. Oh, it's actually in better condition than it was for me earlier. Um, we can actually repair the U.S. Army combat armor with our own reinforced armor, but even um, even without taking any damage from fighting the NCR, which I've taken a lot of damage on mine, uh, repairing that up uh, with that, I think it only gets it up to... I think that's higher this time as well. It didn't get it up as high as the riot gear. Anyway, the riot gear is going to be a lot more useful. Um, because if you look down there as well, it says guns, guns plus five and agility plus one. Whereas the US combat army, uh, your army combat armor, uh, gives you guns plus three and survival plus two. I'd rather have the agility. I'd rather have the agility. So I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to pick up this helmet as well. I'm also going to sell, uh, where are we? Uh, I'll sell that because that's not a gun from uh, Lonesome Road. I'll also sell the anti-material rifle. Um, I'll get rid of... How much does that weigh? Two. Yeah, I'll get rid of that as well. Uh, sell that. I'll keep the breathing mask. Uh, I'm going to keep that for the time being. Just because... 
um, they might actually repair the gear that I just bought. So other than that, what we want, we want some ammo. Um, we want rockets. I'll take all of them. And we want, let's see. Hey, wait. I can't buy all those rockets. Oh, yeah, I haven't got as much money this time. I forget. Okay, forget the rockets. Put them away. Um, in that case, we'll buy uh, we'll buy some aid. I think. Yeah, we'll buy aid. How ma how many rockets is he selling? I suppose that is a lot, <laughs> and they are expensive. The normal rocket aren't. I tell you what, we we'll, won't bother with them. We'll just pick up um, some aid to help us on, on the way. Which won't be too expensive, actually. I need uh, I need stim pack as well, because I use so many stim pack fighting the NCR. And we'll have some money spare as well. Because this isn't the only uh, vendor in the whole DLC. I think that's fine. Okay, now then. Uh, let's uh, let's equip some stuff that we uh, we just picked up as well. Uh, we want the riot gear and the riot gear helmet. Can I? Rep I can. Fantastic. Okay, and we can get that into full condition now as well. Nice. Okay, I could probably sell my reinforced combat armor. I'm gonna do that actually. So uh, we can pick up a bit more money. Uh, combat armor reinforced. There we go. Um, I'm in some trouble though, because at the moment all I have, uh, weapon-wise, is this arc welder. Uh, I'll have to manage with it, I guess. But uh, here's our new gear that we just picked up, and our new weapon. Pretty cool looking. Uh, this helmet as well comes with a weird effect when you go into sneak, so it's supposed to be some sort of night vision mode or something. I'm not sure. So uh, right, let's uh, go and. Uh, Go back and deal with uh, the uh, the computer in this main room because uh, Eddie is able to uh, to do something here. Uh, Goop, all sounds good to me. Thanks, Goop. Thanks for letting me know. Right, okay, and I think that opens this door. I got to keep my eyes peeled in this area though, because there's something uh, really important that I want to pick up. Oh, that didn't open that. Oh, wait. Okay, here we go. So, power. And that'll uh, then sort everything out. I'll just make sure that um, I didn't miss any corridors down there. No, that, that way's caved in. Can you get in here slightly, though? No. Oh, it's a duffel bag. I'm glad I came back for that. I'll take the wonder glue as well. And a uh, stim pack on the floor. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I really don't know what's going to uh, happen at the end of this DLC now. Because it seems as though the game's pretty confused about my reputation with the NCR. But it'll be fun to find out. It'll be interesting. Right, here we go. Here's a little dead uh, Eddie bot. Um, it's quite sad. But uh, he's holding something very important. Destroyed iBot. Uh, iBot upgrade circuit board. Uh, you found a module on this broken iBot that can upgrade Eddie. Installing this module grants you the first rank of the Commander E-Perk, allowing Eddie to repair your currently equipped weapon once per day. This perk is accessed through Eddie's dialogue. If you find more upgrade modules, you can unlock further ranks of this perk. When you return to the Mojave, these upgrades will carry over to your original Eddie as well. Uh, very important. I want to get all of them if I can help it. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's really really important. Oh god, don't go through there. Yeah. Not just yet. Uh, requires key. Okay, this is an easy lock. I think this opens the door. Surely. Uh, right. Okay. Um, okay. IED. Nope. Uh, wow. There's only there's only like four options to pick from. That's crazy. Oh no, five. I just spotted filters. Uh, filters. Oh, it could be that. Oh, there we go. Cool. Right. Uh, unlock hydraulics access. Yes, please. Okay. I really need. I really need to acquire some more equipment. I think. 
Ooh, speaking of, there we go. We just got our second weapon from the uh, DLC. Pick up all these bits for uh, weapon repair kits as well. Although, will I need weapon repair kits? Thinking about it. Because I've got Eddie now. Eddie can, he can only repair my weapon once per day though. Per in-game day, I mean. Uh, I tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on picking up stuff for uh, weapon repair kits. Now, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably hotkey a couple of these things, right? Uh, I'm going to hotkey that there and uh, this nail gun by there. That'll do for now. Okay, cool. Nice. Take all of that as well. Worth coming in here. There's some good uh, bits and pieces in here. Uh, especially if you are uh, planning on building weapon repair kits. Right, let's uh, let's move on. I want to be in sneak now because uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to encounter some danger soon. Sooner or later. I really don't like this filter. I've just decided. This is from the helmet that I'm wearing. It's supposed to be some sort of like n predator night vision or something. But uh, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Ooh, a 10 meter pistol I will take as well. Security code, cool. All right. Okay, let's put that 10 millimeter uh, on hotkey as well. It's in relatively good condition, but not the strongest gun in the game, admittedly. Right, what's down here? I got, I'm not sneaking around. I know I should always be sneaking, but the filter's doing my head in. I might have to change my uh, my headwear at some point because I can't deal with that all the time. It's really quite annoying. I can see red on my compass as well. There is danger here. Okay. Show. Sure. Right. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw. Hey, wait. How did I? How did I get out of here? Ah, there we go. Did I see a monitor? No. I'm seeing things. Okay. All right. Fine. Oh, there are boxes, though. What's in these? I'm uh, going to be looting quite a lot because we're only uh, picking up what we find, essentially. Yeah, I got a buttload of ammo. Yeah, I've got some other th bits and pieces as well, like aid and uh, things like that. But ultimately, I don't have a great... Well, I don't have a huge uh, amount of equipment that I brought with me. Um... I'm gonna. I've only got the uh, clothes that I bought here, and uh, and a couple of guns that I've picked up here as well. Um, now, can I get up there? That's the question. Because there's a door over there. Oh, distress beeping. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, Whitley, there you are. Whitley. Orders from Colonel Autumn. He feels the Ibot Duraframe project isn't advancing quickly enough. Colonel Autumn brought up there. You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him. Don't be ridiculous. It's just a machine. See here. I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here. Fine, Whitley. It's your lab. At least until I tell the Colonel about this. Um, uh, it sounds like Dr. Whitley really cared about you. Ralphie, you're still not making any sense, Eddie. Uh, who the hell is General Winters? Uh, okay. Ralphie, who are you? You're still not making any sense. Evasive beeping. Dr. Grant, Grant sounds like... No, let's not say that. Um... Who the hell is General Winters? The recording mentioned a Colonel Autumn. Now, Colonel Autumn, we actually know um, from Fallout 3. So, we know with this recording, uh, we're dealing with, with Enclave, uh, by the sounds of things. Um, whatever trash can. I'm not going to be mean to Eddie. I like Eddie. Eddie's cool. Uh, who the hell is General Winters? The recording mentioned a Colonel Autumn. Lonely beeping. Um, okay, that's a terrible story, Eddie, but we should get moving. Sad beeping. Oh, he's sad. Oh, I'm sorry, Eddie. Right, I want to go and check around uh, through this door. I think we need to go upstairs by the looks of things. 
being as uh, Eddie. Uh... This is the way we came in. Oh no, it's not good. Okay. Loads of lock picking as well, which is good. If only for the experience. Uh, take the jet. Lead pipe. That's another weapon, but I'm not going to take it because it's not great. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. That's all we need. Uh, take all of that. Nice, Sue. I've got a luxury in, in this game of 149 picks as opposed to Skyrim, where I'm always seem to be short of picks in Skyrim for some reason. Ooh, another two stealth boys. Nice. I'll take them as well. Although, um, I do think that the lock picking in Skyrim is ever so slightly more difficult than it is here. That might be due to its uh, mechanics of, of getting better as you uh, as you do more. I'm not sure. But it just seems to be uh, a little more difficult in, uh, in Skyrim. Maybe that's just me. Who knows? Right. Okay. Cool. Uh, remember, there was red on the compass, so I think we're approaching our first enemy of the DLC. I'm going to remain in sneak, even though I got this annoying filter on. I really don't like it. Right. What do we got here? Um, <clears throat> ooh. Ooh, let's deactivate that. Great. Cool. So, Jesus Christ. I think we just destroyed some robots by doing that. Yeah, there's no longer any red on my compass. So we can come out of this stupid filter at least. Okay, cool. Ooh. Loads more useful junk on the floor. We should now be able to <coughs> be able to make pardon me, sorry. Uh, quite a few uh quite a few uh weapon repair kits at this point. Right, I'm going to loot the rest of the room and then we'll have a chat with Eddie, see what he can... What did I just pick up? I think I picked up a cigarette there. That's fine. Ooh. I was actually supposed to pick up the wrench, but... There's a, a lockpick on this desk, which is nice. Oh, okay. Uh... Oh! First level security code, okay. Plasma Defender, I will take that with me. That might be kind of better than the uh, 10 millimeter, in fact. Nope, not the desk. I want the Nuka... Thank you. Nuka-Cola. Uh, right, okay. Have we got everything worthwhile in this room? Ooh, I didn't check this filing cabinet. It's empty anyway. Never mind. Right, Eddie. Can you help me out? Have you got a uh, workbench uh, access yet? Or do I need to upgrade grade you? Uh, that's an impressive multi-tool suite you've got there. I bet you could make all sorts of stuff with that. Oh, he's happy again. Nice. Last time we spoke to him um, in, uh, um, in dialogue, he, he ended up being sad. So I, I like to see him happy anyway. Uh, guns. Hey, is that an ammo, uh, Armco portable reloading belt bench built into you? That'll be handy. Cool. Um, I'd like to make some ammo. Let, let me access your multi-tool. I think this is the workbench. It is. Okay, let's make a bunch of weapon repair kits. Uh, I would like to access that again as well, if uh, you don't mind, Eddie. Now, I can... Can I recycle anything while I'm here? Ah, here we go. Uh, recycling electron charge pack. Drained electron charge pack. Yeah, that's what we want. So give me... Oh, I get 87 uh, electron charge packs out of that. That's good, because that's what this weapon that I'm holding uh, actually uh, actually takes. Now, um, this plasma defender, you go there instead of uh, my 10 millimeter. I'm going to put the 10 millimeter down there. There we go. I'm not entirely sure how good this plasma defender is, but no doubt it's going to be better than uh, the 10 millimeter that we picked up. Right, okay. Let's uh, be on our way. What does it take? Uh, plasma defender. Energy cells. Okay, we've got a buttload of them anyway. Um, I'm actually, as well, I'm actually going to use one of those weapon repair kits that we just made. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. My light's turned off as well. Bear with me. 
There we are. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Right, so that's in full condition now. Hopefully this gun's pretty good. Hopefully. Ah! Here we are. So, f something labeled as friendly up ahead. But, uh, this is our first glimpse. They're dead, but... This is our first glimpse of the main enemy that we're going to be coming across in this DLC. Uh, we'll have a look at them in just a second. They are corpses, but they are... Uh... Oh, I'll take that and I'll repair my own. Right. Uh, hold on. Equip the... Okay, repair the correct one. The one that I've hotkeyed. Okay, so that's in much better condition now. Okay, these guys, these uh, pleasant looking guys, kind of like ghouls, but more so like people with their skin ripped off. Uh, they, these guys are the marked men. And uh, if you see there is shoulder pad with that cross on it, it's kind of almost like Caesar's Legion uh, armor. Let's have a look, see. Oh, you got a doctor's bag. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, there's another guy down here as well. These sports, like, kind of American football type armor that they wear, it's kind of... Uh, that's what the, the Legion actually wear. Uh, oh, I'll take a Bowie knife. Hell yeah. Mark Scout armor. Sneak plus two and agility plus one. Nowhere near as good as what I'm wearing, so I'm going to leave that. Oh, a bunch of uh, stuff for weapon repair kits as well. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Right, okay, we've got an enemy up ahead. Seems as though uh, the friendly might have turned to... Uh... Oh, by the way as well, uh, I forgot to uh, say anything. This here, this is the red glare. That's that weapon that I was on about. If you buy all the mods for that in the... Jesus Christ. Alright, 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 two seconds. Okay, alright, okay, we got enemies. Right. Take you down. Are you friendly? I think that's friendly. Right, let's go. Nice, I got a critical strike. Please go down. Eddie. There we go, okay. He is now goo. Uh, Eddie can't die, by the way. He's immortal. Effectively, he's immortal. Um, repair the terminal. Okay, that's still friendly. That's cool. Uh, he'll just be knocked unconscious if uh, he does uh, run out of HP. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's empty. I don't like that on it. Right, what have we got here? Before I go through there. Hmm, do we want to go in there first? Let me uh, consult the map really, real, real quick. I um, Out of all the DLCs, apart from uh, the two that we've beaten on stream, uh, out of all the DLCs for this game, this one is actually the one I've played most recently. It's still been a while ago, though. Um, it was still a, a, a short while ago uh, that I played this. It's like semi-recently. Within like the last four years. Excited beeping. Oh, Eddie's excited about something. So, uh, <coughs> things, are, things are not like uh, majorly... Uh, fresh in my mind uh, this guy is this guy is just a regular ghoul uh, general Martin Retzlaff uh, I'll be taking that ooh that's uh, I believe that's unique US Army general outfit uh, it only weighs one so I'll take it with me oh pardon me sorry burpy baby uh, also, I'm going to uh, smash these two 10 millimeters together. Which one have I got hotkeyed? Hold on. Pair the correct one. There we go. That's in full condition now. Nice. Go back over to uh, Plasma Defender them. Right. I've got to be careful here because I think this sets off something. Ah, okay. Right. So deactivate personal sentry systems first. Then open the doors. Otherwise, you'll have to take on three sentry bots, which is no, no easy task. So deactivate them first. I'll help myself to a plasma rifle. Hell yeah. Okay, 
cool. Nails I'll take. Scrap electronics will take. Cool. All right. Uh, you guys, do you mind? Uh, do you mind getting out of the way, guys? You guys, can I can I deactivate these guys? I've got um, I've got robotics expert. I think. Right, take all of this. That is very very useful. Excellent. Okay. Cool. Right, and then we'll uh, we'll go through this way then. Right. Right, I think we're nice and safe for the time being. Take that Bowie knife. I'll uh, repair my own with that. Uh, there we go. Cool. Oh, and uh, we'll smash that with uh, our own as well. Did I pick up that guy's clothes? I can't remember. I did. Fantastic. So the only way is one, and it's unique. I'm going to carry it with me. Uh, yeah, there we go. Did I... I did repair the correct one. Oh, and another one. Did, uh... Nope, it's not full condition. Okay, now we're at uh, full condition with our arc welder. Nice. Take another bowie knife as well. I wonder uh, if these are good weight-to-value ratio. They are pretty good, actually. Okay, I'll uh, get mine in full condition first, though. What did, B what did Eddie just do? You're freaking me out, dude. Fixing things, I'll take. A lot of these magazines are useless to us now. So I might start selling them off. Because uh, a lot of our stats are full at this point. So um, We might start selling them off. Because uh, we can't increase them any higher than, than full. So. Right. Give me that. No. Electron. There we go. Electron charge. Uh, right. I'm just going to have a look at this terminal. See what we got. Anything in the desks there? Anything good? Ooh. Um, take them. Cool. All right. What have we got here on this? Uh, nothing. It's a fake. It's a fake terminal. Fine. I'm not sure what um, is going to greet me through those doors if I pull the switch, but let's uh, let's do it. What? Mainframe is locked down with a secure military military grade encryption sequence. You'll need to find the security codes and upload them to Eddie to gain access. Ah, right. I think I've got them. You. Um. Oh, apparently not. Okay, let's find these, uh, let's find these codes, wherever they might be. Choir's key. He's got a butter knife on him. I swear we picked them up, right? We've picked up something. Hold on. Yes. Uh, first level security code. Second level security code. How do I upload them to Eddie? Um... Okay, let's... I'd like you to replay one of those audio logs. Uh, about the ability to crap encrypt to crap <laughs> to crack <laughs> encrypted systems. Experiment log three six nine two four eight slash b. I bought DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Doctor Whitley presiding. We've boosted signal gain and enlarged the overflow buffer system. That should ensure one hundred percent connectivity and control. Eddie, whenever you're ready. Yes, success. <clears throat> um, reporting full success on 369248-B, Eddie was able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Great job, team. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. Cool. All right. Um... Eddie, come and do a thing over here, dude. I need you to uh, do a thing, apparently. Mainframe is locked down with a secure military-grade uh, encryption sequence. You'll need to find the security codes and upload them to Eddie. I, I swear I've got the security co codes. 
Did I miss something in here? Ah, what's this? Nothing. Mm. How do I... <laughs> how do I upload these codes to Eddie? Ah, alright, fine. We'll figure it out. So there'll be a terminal around here somewhere, maybe. I'm uh, taking some reds right now, which I'm not happy about. Uh, turrets. That's to do with turrets. Okay. This uh, computer here is nothing. That's just for show. It's just for flavor. Uh, what do we have in there? I think that's uh, the next area that we go to. Eddie! <laughs> How do I give you these codes, buddy? I forget. Um, it's got to be something, right? Oh! Tactics interface. Oh, tactics interface. Saw the bit that said open. And I got excited. Um, Alright, let's go for this again. No. Uh, it's not going to help, really. What's this? Nothing. Hmm. Eddie, open this, dude. Am I missing one of the codes, maybe? Maybe that's the deal. Alright, let me uh, backtrack a little, see if there's anything that we missed. Alright, you're empty. So are you. Ooh, I did miss these electron charge packs on the floor, though. And I missed those in there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can find something. Something that we need to do. Uh, what do we got over here? That's nothing. Right, check through here again. What about this, uh, this terminal here. I swear I, I, I swear I looked at this terminal. Inactive. Okay. I bet you I'm missing something really, really simple. They're really, really obvious. Dang radiation. Yeah, we searched everywhere here. That terminal doesn't do any more. You haven't got anything on you, you know. We s clean cleaned his corpse out. Right. How am I supposed to upload these codes to Eddie? Eddie, do your thing. Hmm. Surely, uh... No. Okay. Right, let's listen to the other audio log. We've, um... The ability to crack, cracking... I did it again. Crack encrypted systems we've listened to. Let's listen to this one. Okay, this is just the Colonel Autumn one again. Uh, that's a terrible story. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna backtrack all the way down. 
see if there's uh, anything down here. Right, there wasn't a terminal down here, that's fine. Can I get up this way? I can. Good grief. Right. <laughs> it's, it's see Eddie squeezing through the gaps. I am uh, a little bit confused, not gonna lie. Right in here. Level three. Maintenance access status. Unlocked. For level three, is this, does that mean the one upstairs that we were at? Door. What's in here? Ah, this is the way in. Okay. Um, okay, I'm stumped right now. What's my quest saying? Find the security codes. Oh, so I don't have all of them. Right. Missing one of them. Let's go and look. There is... That would explain it. I'm missing one of the codes. Um, they must be upstairs. Let's uh, cover our, our steps again. Uh, okay. Re, re, uh, take this from the, the beginning again. Nothing in there. Is it one of these? Ter this terminal we checked, right? This is level. Oops, I didn't mean to press that. This is level two. Inactive, okay. Right. Quite a ways away from uh, our quest marker right now. Or markers, I should say. So all it is, we're just missing one of the codes. Where could they be, though? Did I check this? I did not! Nice, okay. I'm in a terminal somewhere or something. This is the room where we got as far as. Hello. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up that Salisbury steak. Never mind, that's fine. Where on earth are these final codes? I think we got one and two and we just need three. check the uh, there's something here something around here commander's desk oh they're right there they were there all along I did a dumb I did a dumb right now we should be able to open that now here we go Ask Eddie to unlock the mainframe. I'm not sure what's coming through this door right now, if anything. So let's uh, let's be prepared. Prepared for the worst. Okay. What did that say? Activate what? There we go. Oh, 
That thing gonna that thing's hostile. Oh, there's this sentry buff. Eddie, be careful. Jesus Christ, dude. Eddie, be careful, dude. I do like Eddie. I don't want him to uh, be in danger. That's a, that's a lot of robots and turrets. I really don't like this filter. I'm gonna have to get rid of it. I'm gonna have to get rid of this uh, this helmet that I'm wearing. Uh, yes. You there? Doesn't have anything. Uh, this plasma defender is really good. I never really used it much before, so uh, I wasn't sure. But it turns out it's pretty good. Pretty damn good. All right, cool. Where else have we got? You good sir? Nothing. Ooh, a Bowie knife. Those Bowie knives are worth a lot of money, so I'm gonna keep picking them up to sell and uh, keep repairing and, and keep selling. I'll always, obviously keep, I'll keep one on me to use if I ever need to. Ooh, another stealth boy. We've uh, collected quite a few stealth boys at this point. Ah, that's where I saw these robots through the window. So they came in from here. All right, I'll take doctor's bags. Ooh, plasma grenades. Hell yeah. Yes, please. The more, uh, the more lockpicks I got, get, the better, really. We shouldn't have any trouble leveling up in this place, but still, I'd like to uh, level up as much as I can. Oh, hello. Almost didn't see you there. Oh, yeah. I'll take them. Ooh, a locksmith reader. Nice. Right, where are we going next? Right, out here, and... I believe this way and here we are another reminder on the wall here you can go home courier it's almost like they want me to go home right and here we are bringing your chances coming here just like bringing the lord of vegas his tribute bending your knee to old world ghosts you and that chip Deserve each other. Twenty-nine less coins than other treasures have carried, if history's true. Now see the road the old world paves, and what the lights of New Vegas promise, if they haven't blinded your eyes. Now, that, um, if you remember from some of the recordings that we found in um, Big Mountain, um, that is the voice of Ulysses, which is fantastically uh, voice acted, if you ask me. That is a really sinister, foreboding, sort of uh, powerful voice uh, that the voice actor has. Really, really well done. Um, let's see. Mr. House. Mr. House is dead in this universe. Um... Let's say, uh, is New Vegas' power a threat to you? If you're afraid of New Vegas and Mr. House, you should be. Mr. House is dead. Mr. House is dead in this universe. We uh, went with Yes Man. Um, how are you speaking to me through Eddie? The robot with you. All of them are machines, radios, old world tech reshaped with new hands, historians. Couriers carry messages. Seen them as I've walked the divide, tending other machines. That one, sealed inside the Hopeville silo. Sign America is waking up. It will follow you, obey you, carry it until we are face to face. Then there'll be no more need for it to carry my words. Um. Let's see. Okay. Uh, what is this place? The Divide. This place is a slice of it. Old military. Can still smell the pride. And the fear. Hope of the old world. Wrapped in fencing. Covered in storm. 
that new inhabitants now, other than ghosts, more recent recruits. Okay, so we got some checks here. Let's see what we got. Uh, area looks like it was hit with earthquakes or underground detonations. Uh, explosives. The damage here looks like it was caused by underground detonations on a scale I've never seen. Let's go with that. America sleeps in the divide. Giants beneath the earth. You saw one locked in the silo beneath you. There's more. Only takes a few of them locked below ground to tear apart the earth and cast dust, sand, ash into the skies above. For now, eyes alert. Watch the streets below. There's still life in the divide. Threats other than the storms and wind. New inhabitants. So, <clears throat> he's talking about um, the missiles and the missile silos. Because we just came out of a missile silo uh, just then and there's uh, still a missile in there. Uh, apparently, a bunch of them went off underground and that's what caused uh, and created, I guess, the what, what's now known as the Divide. Um, it's reshaped uh, the landscape here. Um, now, inhabitants, Ulysses, what do you mean? It doesn't look like anyone's alive down here. These new inhabitants, not natives, most of them came with duty, purpose, ready to kill each other. The Divide was stronger. Left marks on them, too. Not bare. Not bull. Now, radiations mark them, made them equal in history's eyes. As vicious as the storms are, these shadows of Legion, of NCR, silhouettes of things to come. So, the bodies um, that we, we saw inside the asylum, uh, as I pointed out, it looked like they were wearing Legion type armor. Um, it seems as though the NCR and the Legion both had a presence here prior to uh, whatever happened to create the divide and, and reshape it to what it is. So that uh, the life that uh, uh, and what inhabits the divide that Ulysses is referring to possibly used to be NCR and Legion soldiers, but now they've become something different and uh, unified uh, because of that. Um... Okay, uh, those are the bodies I saw in the silo, the soldiers that look like they've been flayed, because uh, if you remember that um, corpse was pinned to the wall and a few others dotted around. There was one that was a ghoul, but the others, they didn't quite look ghoulified, they just looked like they'd had their, their skin stripped off. If you saw their corpses, you saw mercy, got what they deserved, coming to the divide, the bear and bull, NCR legion. Came in waves, before and after, right into the invisible fires, the wind ground, collapsing beneath them. Once under different flags, now they are equal in their hatred of the trespassers, you and I. So in other words, they're no longer NCR or Legion aligned, they just going to become something completely new, um, and a new faction of their own. Um, let's see, what should we say? I've just seen corpses mutilated like that. But even radiation isn't enough to cause those wounds. Uh, they look like they were skinned, then got right back up. I don't care what you have to say. No, let's uh, not be, um, let's be reasonable with, uh, with Ulysses the entire time that we speak to him. Uh, they look like they were skinned, then got right back up. Even as the fires here burned them from within, the winds of the divide tore their skin. Exposed them, screaming to the sky. And just as the divide tears at them, so they tear at each other for sport, like some tribal scarification. Falling back to their history, maybe. No matter what they suffer, the radiation, fire of the divide, sustains them, makes them stronger. So we've got a few more checks here. Um, I'm gonna go with medicine because it's, uh, it's it's higher than my survival. Uh, I think. Hang on. What's the survival one? Ra radiation may keep them alive in areas so physically punishing it would kill others, even ghouls. Or medicine. If they become ghouls, the radiation would strengthen them, heal their wounds, not the scars. 
There's truth in your words. In what I've seen of their tactics, movements, recovery, those wounds, they couldn't live otherwise. The divine winds have torn the skin from many of them. Maybe the radiation is the only thing keeping them walking. They camp near silos, warheads. No way to cleanse the radiation. Makes them hard to kill there. Have to draw them out. Okay. So, um, they got such horrific wounds, but it's the radiation in this place that's actually healing them. Uh, similar to ghouls, um, but it's not actually healing the scars, so they're not like growing back their skin or, or anything like that. But um, they are staying alive due to radiation, essentially. Um, let's see. Uh, maybe you better tell me who you are and what you want. I'm a courier. Courier 6 was Courier 6, like you, and not like you, in all the ways that matter. Spent too many years looking for you, now letting you come to me. Thought carrying that ship would end you. No, you got lives in you, hard to kill. Storms, bullets, sand and wind, yet still you walk. For now. Uh, we got a perception check here. Nice. Uh, we'd never spoken before. I remember your voice. Now, remember, our character is supposed to have amnesia after getting shot in the head at the beginning of the game. But um, it's very... The game's very... Uh, it it pick, picks and chooses whether or not your character's got um, amnesia a lot throughout the game. There'll be sections of the game where your character will comment on, or you'll have speech options to comment on stuff that you remember in the past. But then other times you'll be like, who are you? I've never met you before. You know, it's very, um, it's very situational, uh, plot situational, I guess, when you've got amnesia and when you haven't. It, I guess, I guess it's never really stated whether or not it's just you don't remember anything prior to getting shot in the head or whether, you know, it's patchy. I don't know. But anyway, uh, we've never spoken before. I'd remember your voice. Words are the only way couriers meet. Sometimes it's the paths we walk. But no, we've never spoken before now. You may not know my voice, but we've walked the same places. The long 15 to Prim. That wasn't the only road you ever walked. I've been to your home. The place you kept returning to may not be the place you were born, it was the place you gave life to. Same thing. People forget couriers can keep communities alive until the day they're gone and their breath catches in their throat. Uh, Goop, look, done with work and have some chores to do. Thanks for that, uh, look, Goop. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And uh, yay! So Friday, Friday, and your weekend starting proper. Excellent. Now uh, there was something that he um, mentioned uh, that I forgot to say because of the amnesia thing. He uh, mentioned that he was courier six, and that um, pardon me, sorry, um, he was courier six, and that uh, he also mentioned as well that they both walked along fifteen to uh, to Prim. Now in Prim, when you first arrive there and you speak to Johnson Nash. You can actually ask him some questions, um, which shed some light on, on Ulysses. Johnson Nash doesn't mention him by name, but he mentions um, he mentions a situation where there was. Oh, it might be in the um, the uh, post office there. Actually, I'm not sure, but it's, it, there is definitely mentioned that uh, Courier Six took a look at your name and the job that you had to deliver the platinum chip, and he kind of stepped away. And um, whoever it is you're speaking to, it might be Johnson Nash. He's like, I don't know why, it was good money. He just saw your name and he was just like, nope, let him do it. And um, that's the first mention uh, or the first clue of, of Ulysses and the history that you two have. Ulysses, for some odd reason, um, he, uh, he didn't accept the platinum chip job because uh, he saw that you were lined up to do it. So he let you carry on. But... Um, Right, you are the one who sent the radio message, Ulysses. You were supposed to carry the chip. Ah, let's ask him about the chip, actually. Let's see if... Um, ah, here we are. So you refused to deliver the chip. What, to set me up to die? We all have death following us. Only a question of how close. You dodged it for a time. 
You're good at that. Talent for <clears> it. <throat> With that chip weighing you down, a burden. Let's death move a little faster without me pulling the trigger. Sorry, just a sec. Light's not very good today. Okay, alright, so you were supposed to carry the chip. Meant to. No. Never. You're a burden. Weigh you down long enough to let death catch up to you. But you survived. There was death in that package. And while the chip is important to old world ghosts, no. You are more dangerous than that chip ever could be. Maybe why you found each other. Little piece of the old world speaking to you. Waiting for you to wake something else up with it. Okay. Um... If you wanted me dead, why did you wait? Promises to keep to others. And the Mojave is dangerous enough left to the land. The land has its way. If I wanted you dead, we would have met sooner. Not sure that's the way this ends. Might be that history needs to have its say. If not, then messages will do. <laughs> Um Enough talking. You want you went to a lot of trouble to lure me here, so let's get on with this. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You need to find your own path. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You are resourceful. That machine, a robot with you, can help you find the warhead you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. Okay, and we've got a speech check as well, which is interesting. If we share history, then before going forward, I want to know the past. Who are you? Who do not know, know your history. history. You came all this way it's kind of like his pseudo catchphrase, I guess. I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away, and at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the divide. They're lost to you. For now, find the trigger for the warheads buried in Hopeville. Use it to keep moving and keep alive. Fine, I'll find this trigger and then I'll come find you. The divide will send its worst against you. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Road gets rougher from here. Courier left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. We've already seen uh, you these marks. One more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander. The marks, of course, so we've already seen in places like Big Mountain. Uh, where he marks dangerous places and he marks uh, good places to loot as well. Okay. All right. So now we gotta go and find this uh, means of, uh, well, the detonator, essentially. We gotta go and find the detonator. And uh, we, uh, we learn a little there as to why, uh, why we're here, why Ulysses has uh, lured us here. Uh, a little bit about me and him. But uh, there's a lot more, a uh, lot more to go. But uh, right, okay, let's find this detonator. I am getting irradiated massively. There's radiation everywhere in this place. Uh, to the point where, in fact, I might actually pop a radex. I've got enough of them. I've got loads of them, in fact. So, right, there's enemies over there. I really got to swap out this helmet as soon as possible because this filter is doing my head in. It's awful. And that's going to happen every time I go into sneak mode. Uh, right, duct tape I will take. 
cool. Nice you, nice you. Where are we going here? Empty. Fine. I wonder if I'm, uh... Ooh. Floor safe. Hell yeah. I wonder if I'm able to make any more weapon repair kits at this point. Uh, I'll take it. Why not? Ooh, another nail gun. Okay. Nice. Right, can I make any uh, weapon repair kits? I don't think I can. Ah, I can. Awesome. Make two of them. Nice. Okay, so we got uh, we got red on the map coming up. We're here somewhere. Shh, be quiet. I'm trying to be sneaky. Take them. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, uh, snipe, sniper type weapon at the moment. Oh, God damn this radiation. I need to get out of this area of rads ASAP. Could have just followed the road, but never mind. Oh, I'm in danger. They've spotted me. <laughs> that was pretty cool. He threw a grenade and I shot it out of the air. They've got... They seem to have tri-beam lasers. Seems like they do. Oh, oh, ow. Fuck you, dude. Hopefully he's got no more grenades either. I'll take that shot. These guys are tough as well. You can see there, like this plasma, this plasma defender tore through sentry bots. And it's not really doing a huge amount of damage to these guys. I fell. Dang it. Right, all I need is a giblet to search him anyway. Uh, give me that. And I will take your tri-beam laser rifle. Hell yeah, that's a good weapon. Right, there's another guy around here somewhere I know. I don't know where he is right now. Ah, here we are. Hello, sir. Are you the guy who threw the grenade? Do you, do you not have a weapon, sir? Are you, uh, are you unarmed? I don't really care. I'll shoot you in the head anyway. Wow, these guys are worth 150 XP. That's really good. Why are you unarmed? You had the plasma defender on you. Why did, why weren't you using it? That's weird. I don't know why he wasn't using his weapon there. That was strange. He was coming. He was definitely coming at me unarmed. He was trying to punch me. Uh, ooh, another stealth boy. We're doing really well on stealth boys. That could be useful. Oh, oh no. There we go. Nice suit. Right, I got some things to repair. Let's repair... Uh, what we got? My bowie knife is fine. Nail gun? i say my nail gun. Plasma defender. That's the important one. Uh, I forget that I've got, I've got such good weapons now. My plasma defender is in better condition, otherwise I'd swap over to the rifle. Uh, if my rifle was in good condition. I have got weapon repair kits, and I can get Eddie to repair a weapon once a day, but I'll leave it for now. Right, uh, what is this? This is Hopeful Missile Base HQ. I need this place. This is in my notes. This place is in my notes. Oh, hello, sir. What have you got there? What have you got in your hand, sir? I would like to. I would like that, sir. Right, this guy is going down. I don't think he's alone though, I think there'll be more. Oh? Are you just catching up with the fight that we just had? Nope, he's, he's, there's another, <gasps> he's got an anti-material rifle. I swear he's got an anti-material, he's got an anti-material rifle. I didn't think that anti-material rifles were in this DLC. Uh, otherwise I wouldn't have sold the one that I had on me. Oh well, it, what's done is done. I've sold my one now. I'll pick this one up. 
Right, I think that's it for now. There is something really important around here somewhere, though, that I want. Uh, there we are. Another destroyed eye So This is the second Eddie upgrade. Right, give me upgrade circuit board. There we go. Uh, you have gained the Commander E perk, rank 2. Allowing Eddie to manufacture small energy cells or microfusion cells once per day. Very, very useful. Um, I'm also going to check if I can build any... Uh... Oh, I did, didn't I? That's fine, that's fine. I've already recently uh, built a bunch of uh, uh, weapon repair kits. That is very fine. That's not a problem. Okay, give me that. Ooh, Salesman Weekly. Hell yeah. I should maybe start using Salesman Weeklies because uh, I'm over encumbered. Great. Uh, because um, I don't have full uh, barter. And uh, I could, uh, I may as well make use of it, right? Um, what can we get rid of here? I'll tell you what I can do that I know I've picked up uh, in the past. Brahmin steak, plus one strength. That'll do for now until we uh, at least hit uh, a vendor anyway. Uh, what's in this desk? Bottle caps I'll take. Pretty well money I'll take. I'll take today's position as well, why not? Uh, did we check this ghoul pile? Ooh, hell yeah. Trooper helmet. Okay. Endurance plus one on that armor. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, safe. Hard lock. Safe. Oh, come on. Dang. Alright. It's fine. It is hard locked. I'll take it. Oh. Oh, that's what we want, actually. We really want that. Uh, and today's physician, physician, we may as well take. I'll take that as well. I'll s oh, god damn it. I'll sell a bunch of stuff uh, in just a second. Uh, what was that? Empty bottle? Uh, empty syringe. What did I just pick up? Large whiskey bottle. Drop that. Okay. Alright. I think we get to a vendor shortly anyway, so I can clear some uh I can clear some carry weight. That's fine. Pretty well money I wanna take as well. I wanna make I wanna be able to make as much money as I can when we uh when we get to this vendor in just a moment. This guy had a new weapon as well. Where's this guy gone? Where does giblets go? Here we go. And synergy grenade, hell yeah. Pack of cigarettes. Thermic lens! I'll take that. I am well overweight now, but that's fine. There should be a vendor in here, like I say. Uh. Oh, first aid. That's empty, dang it. Oh, it's the three. Oh, it's the 357 Magnum. I uh, didn't mean to activate the sink there. Yeah, I brought a 357 in with me as well. I could have kept hold of. That's my um, that's my good old trusty 357 as well. It's the one I wander around with um, prior to uh, entering these DLCs. Because uh, to me, I, like we're all role role-playing a little, right? But to me, um, it would wouldn't make any sense to go traveling around without uh, a weapon on you. So that's I just had that weapon just for uh, for that purposes, just for like I guess role-playing if you wanna wanna call it that. Right, auto dock. Conduct physical exam. Same with the um, the combat armor I was taking around as well. Jesus Christ, Eddie. Thank you, but can you keep it down a little, maybe? Right. Okay. First things first. Let's uh, clear some uh, some weight. Right. So I can sell a bunch of stuff. What have I got? Why have I got all this stuff? Why doesn't this show up? In my miscellaneous. I'll sell it anyway. Whoa, that's a lot of them. Oh, it only amounts to 50 caps. Uh, that's fine. Carton of cigarettes, you can go. Uh, I did definitely pick up a single cig cigarette as well. I knew it. Um, let's see now. Pack of cigarettes can go. Pre-war money. There we go, that can go. Making quite a bit already. 
Right. Um, some of these weapons I can do with selling. Uh, not items, weapons. Uh, 357 can go. That can go. That's worth loads of money, in fact. We'll keep... Uh, should we keep the 10 millimeter? I don't think the 10 millimeter is going to be that useful. It's only 20... Look, that's only got uh, DPS of 73 and damage of 24. In poor condition, this 12.7 millimeter has got damage of 31 and a DPS of 102. It's much better. Plus, we've got things like the anti-material rifle now as well. Um, I think I might actually, in fact, I might sell both of these because that's got a really weird ammo type as well, even though it's quite good. I've only got 29 bullets in total for that thing. Yeah, I sell them both. Uh, not my Bowie knife. I'm going to keep hold of that. I'm going to sell this one. These are really good weight to value ratio. They weigh one. And that's in really poor condition. I was still getting 112 caps for it. In full condition, it's 539. It's really worthwhile. So I'm going to sell the poor condition one. Uh, my nail gun's worth a fortune as well at this point. I'm not going to sell my nail gun though. Um, I might sell this plasma rifle. So the defender is really good. DPS 115, damage 41. Oh, that's going to be so much better if it's in full... Because that's in full condition and that's not. Uh, do I get rid of it or not? Let's get rid of that. Ignores... Ignores DTDR. That's really good. That's really good. It's melee weapon, then. Melee weapon. Do I want the tri-beam laser rifle as well? Right, that takes microfusion cells, as does the plasma rifle. What's going to be better, though? I think the plasma rifle, oddly, is going to have better accuracy. Oh, but that that's crazy. That's crazy good. Oh, I can't decide. I can't decide. Hmm. All right, while I'm thinking that over, let's see what you've got for sale. Satchel charges... Oh, it actually has the inventory of what I sold to it. So I might buy my anti-material rifle back. Yeah, I'm going to buy that back. What ammo do you have? Do you have any 50? You do have any. You do have 50s. Right, let's take them. And them. That's a lot of money. Uh, armor piercing and synergy. No explosive, unfortunately. But I will take all of that. Um, what else do you have? Apparel. It's the beret I sold to it. It has some... Um, it has more or less similar, if not the same, stuff as the one at the beginning did. Right, if I'm keeping the anti-material, I'll uh, smash the other one into mine to uh, repair it. I'm going to start selling uh, some other things. I'm going to sell tri-beam and the plasma rifle. I might regret that down the line, but I should be able to buy stuff back if we regret our decision. Also, um, can I buy can I buy many rockets? No, forget the rockets for now. I don't have the red glare anyway, so um, that'll do for now. Okay, now. Uh, weapons. I want this one to be full condition, please. And I'm going to... I'm going to hotkey it there. Uh, we'll put the arc welder over here. And uh, what else do we have equipped? I think we have the nail gun, right? We do have the nail gun. I'll put the thermic lance down here, I think. Um... I'm going to equip that and use a weapon repair kit. So I've got five of them, so why not? Um, and I think... I think I'm happy with that. Yes. Okay. We've got our big, uh, our big heavy hitter now in our uh, anti-material rifle. And uh, we've also... We've also got some... We've got some good weaponry. We've got some good weaponry anyways. Uh, some good stuff. Some good, good stuff. Uh, give me that medex. Thank you. Okay. All right. Nice, you, nice, you. <coughs> uh, okay. All right. Cool. Um, in the meantime, okay. Uh, what? How are we looking for time? Oh, right. That's 
it's going much longer than I expected. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to take a quick break, okay, guys? Um, so um, bear with me, all right? I won't be long. I'll be the usual. I'll be five minutes, but no longer than seven. So uh, bear with, and I will be I'll be. Thank you. 